Hi everyone, this is Joyce Fernandes. I'm going to give you a quick tour of our course site. I have received a number of emails this morning and I know some of you have never taken an online class before. Not, not only an asynchronous one, but you're really doing a lot of independent work with guidance. So I just want to give you a quick, 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 quick look. Alright, we're going to turn this around. Here we are. This is what it looks like when you open up our course on Blackboard. I leave a little announcement and over here is our course materials and our course information. If you go down here to syllabus, you click here and this is where you will see our syllabus and calendar. In addition, I've also posted all the videos we're going to be using for our discussion boards. So if you want to catch up, or not catch up, but if you want to go ahead and look to see which ones are coming, you cannot participate in the discussion board until the week, but you can see well in advance. And that's a nice, I've always liked to know what's coming next. Go back to the syllabus, go over here, where you'll have the syllabus itself, which is pretty standard, but you should still read through it. Look to see what the student learning outcomes are. Uh, go down here for time expectations. This will take time to get through this every week and Bristol Online is available. There's the phone number for the site lab, which I call regularly when I have any technical issues, and you should too. Over here is my favorite um, poet, philosopher. She's the late, great Maya Angelou, but I love that quote, do the best you can until you know better. But when you know better, do better. And that's what I ask for you to do this semester. Do relax with this. This class was intended for success with a step-by-step, week-by-week uh, practice. Public speaking is a skill, so there's no way to do a skill without taking it slowly and repetitively. There's a lot of repeating in this class. It's like the ocean waters. They come out, they go in, they come out, they go in, and it should feel comfortable and accessible for you. Okay, this is the attendance policy. I'm saying there are two absences during the semester that you do not have to say one thing to me about if you miss two weeks of class, but get right back on the board. Hopefully they're not two weeks together, but we can all get sick. We can all have other distractions, so do not feel like you have to be perfect to be successful in this class. But I will tell you, the students who make a commitment and keep up with it always feel more connected. So you can read through there. It talks about we will rely on instructors' videos like I'm making right now, and I'm asking please look through them. Don't just ignore them or say, oh, I don't have an assignment with that. She's just talking. She's just talking with content. These are numbers that you may need through the course of the semester, like the online um, learning or a mental health counselor or the site lab or enrollment services or financial aid, so look at those. Over here is how our grades are um, distributed. The first speech is in the news, two to five minutes, that's 10%. Next speech is informative, 10%, four to six minutes. Uh, persuasive, four to six minutes, 10%. Personal experience, brief opinion, two to five minutes, 10%. And the final word of free choice presentation, two to five minutes, 10%. Discussion boards, 10%, with at least two to three sentences per posting. But don't forget, that's also how I count your attendance. So really, the discussion boards, with attendance and discussion board participation, is really 20%, so it's important to do. When we get to the journals, which we will do after our first speech, uh, you will be that'll be 10%, and then the final exam, 20%. So there it is. Nowhere do you see quizzes for the textbook. Someone asked me today, are we going to be quizzed on the textbook? The answer is no. The textbook is there to supplement what you may not remember from your written communication because if you have a strong English background, much of what we're going to be talking about this semester will be very familiar to you. But not all of us have that. So the textbook is about oral communication, but they're so closely aligned, some of this will feel like a repeat of your English classes. So here we go. And then we go into the calendar. And right here it says the first week, self-introduction on VoiceThread. You did notice that I said on the voice thread that you could have until this Sunday, um, February 5th, to get it in because it's the first week we're doing our voice threads. But you'll see after that, it's pretty clear when things are due. 
and how we roll. And that's it, we roll. Every week there's something to do, but we do get a break. We get a break after the seventh week, and we come right back. And the, rep the repetitive nature of the course is what really helps reinforce the material so that you are exposed to it, you can absorb it at, at your own will, and you can learn from it. And that's the hope. Over here are all, look at all those, look at all those weeks. But right now, you're in the student view, which is right here. I go into student view. This is how you see it. You only see one week. But the next time you'll see week two. The next week, next week you'll see week three. So do the work that's in that folder for the week. I'm asking you to read this checklist. Here I have the instructions for the self-introduction. I have a video of myself doing the self-introduction and some other information. You should really listen to that. Here is when you're going to be posting your video. Right here, you click on here, and you go over to here, sign in, as it says. Then you go over here, and you are going to do whatever it says to do. Start the assignment and move on from there. There was a video at the very end of this week that was older, but I did it to show some students how to um, navigate around VoiceThread, not to be intimidated by it. It's a good tool to house our, our videos, keep them tidy and hopefully secure when we're all done with the semester. All of them get um, deleted. But anyway, back to here, back to week one. So here then there's the discussion board number one, how I overcame my fear of public speaking. And number two, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. This one here by Danish, you might get a kick out of it because I can relate to how he's trying to count ums, but really public speaking is not about that. Public speaking is be making a connection with your audience and being as comfortable as you can with your words and your body language and your sound will follow. And then this one by Lovey, um, Ayla Ajali, I met her, well, I didn't meet, meet her, but I heard her on a podcast out of Chicago years ago I enjoy her energy a lot. So I was thrilled when I found a video that I could incorporate in that class. Press um, create thread, you know how to do that. Charlie Brown is just for fun. And on the discussion boards, I give a series of prompts. Like let's go to the first one. Click create thread, and here it is. You're gonna watch this. Now if you want, if, you, if this is too small and it doesn't uh, get larger, then just look at the title and put it into YouTube and watch it from there. Then here I have all this, these words, and then I, I give you some ideas of what you could, um, how you could answer for res a response. But you do not have to answer every one of these questions, no. Just if one of them hits home, one of them makes more sense, then that's what you're gonna write down in here. Maybe none of these prompts make any sense to you. And this is true for the whole semester. Perhaps you watch the video and you have another response, another, um, thought about it and I'm not hitting on it with these questions. That's fine. Then you write that down. This class is to is a chance for you to work on your own opinions, um, to start to meet your own voice and understand that you have your own thinking patterns. You do not have to rely on a um, a chat bot or whatever those um, what the GBTs are where they'll uh, attend a uh, Artificial intelligence will write your copy for you. You can use your own analytical skills and come up with your own opinions. And then this is a handout. The benefits of public speaking can be very motivational to read this. And right here, of course, is the cute, cute Charlie, I think it's cute, Charlie Brown and his experience with public speaking. Down here is the video that I mentioned um, on using VoiceThread if you still feel stuck. Most students, they do it once, they realize, what they really have to do is save their work and to submit, and that way they'll get to the student gallery. This is our textbook here, and what, how I always do the textbook, I always go into PDF, but you could go into an ebook, or you could do it in any other format that makes sense for you. For me, it's PDF, and then I say, okay, there's the book, and I'm asking you to go into the annex, which is at the end, and there are five sections, and I'm asking you to read each one of them. So this is, uh, this is the, I called it the annex, but they call it the appendix. So at the very end, your first speech, 
and then just read these five um, places right here. It's interesting they put number one at the bottom, and this is the public speaking pyramid, which everything else works from. So this is a this appendix is a great review of the content we'll be covering throughout the semester, and to reestablish some of these foundational truths that are true for written communication and oral communication, such as that every presentation is going to have an introduction, body, and conclusion, except for your self-introduction. That can be very informal. You do not have to feel like you have to follow any format for that. That could That's just free speaking. Now, why am I computers making these did you already know that I do not have technical savvy that's why I've said over and over again if you have any technical issues please call the site lab or the help desk do not tell me you can tell me you're having troubles but I can't immediately fix them because diagnose that doing diagnose doing the diagnostics is not quick for me I would have to really think and sometimes oh then I can if you notice my phone is lurking much better as far as I'm not being fuzzy. Last time I did a video outside, it was fuzzy when I looked at myself, so I kept turning it around. Finally, I went to the site lab and I said, I, ca I can't get my screen to be clear. And Asani, who is the most charming, charming person in the world, she said, well, Joyce, and she takes my hand and we walk over to the desk and we get some wet wipes and she says, you just have to wash your lens. I'm like, oh my goodness. And I am a person who loves photography. I'm always cleaning the lenses off my cameras, off my GoPro. I'm always clearing them. I clean the lens on the other side of this camera, of this phone, so I can make good clear shots. But to do it in the front, that little tiny dot, mm -mm. who knows what was in there. I just took a little like wet wipe and I cleaned it up and so I do not need a new phone <laughs> but that's that's why do not call me for technology call them call either the site lab or call the help desk there's always help Monday through Friday so make sure you call them and don't suffer in silence and don't struggle all right I think I think this is enough of a tour I do not know why my my um, computer was making those buzzing songs uh, sounds I don't know